Israel has committed three acts of genocide with the requisite intent, killing members of the group, causing serious bodily or mental harm to members of the group, and deliberately inflicting on the group conditions of life calculated to bring about its physical destruction in whole or in part. The flagrant and systematic slaughter of Palestinian civilians, the deployment of unlawful weaponry, the utter obliteration of vital civilian infrastructure, including the deliberate targeting of all Gaza's hospitals and the man-made starvation of the Palestinian people transcend the realm of war crimes and crimes against humanities that had been seen in the occupied Palestinian territory before. The monstrosity unfolding is accompanied by a pervasive anti-Palestinian narrative and dehumanization emanating from the uppermost tires of Israeli society, including high-ranking officials with command authority and frequently reflected in soldiers' actions on the ground. This reflects the intent, a dolus specialis, to destroy in whole or in part, which is what distinguishes genocide from other atrocity crimes. In the case of Gaza, there exists a chilling clarity of this purpose, the systematic eradication of an entire people, or at least a significant part thereof. One of the key findings is that Israel's executive and military leadership and soldiers have intentionally distorted using bellow principles, subverted their protection functions in an attempt to legitimize genocidal violence against the Palestinian people. The only reasonable inference that can be drawn from the unveiling of this policy is an Israeli state policy of genocidal violence toward the Palestinian people in Gaza.